Fist. Open. Feeling very good, you know. It's a massive, massive show, and for me to be on this show, you know, I'm grateful. But I just can't wait, you know, because I've been excited for weeks now. When I got the phone call two and a half weeks ago, I just couldn't wait. But you got to be ready in this game as well. Have you been absorbing all the atmosphere of the way in the press conference? Um, I didn't. I didn't go down to Wayne, but I went down to press conference, and you know there was a buzz there. You know, with loads of cameras, all you know, all on Kelso. You know, that's what we want as fighters. You know, it's, obviously we start off small, but hopefully one day we'll get there. There's a different buzz to this. You know, just coming here, just feel. Obviously, it is bigger, but looking at this, it, like this place where we're fighting, it's just it's just on a different level. So, you know, I've just got to perform now and do well. Come on. Jab, 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 hook, jab, hook, hook, jab, right, straight, right, straight, right, straight, right, straight, right, So, Kyle, second professional fight, Kilbrook's yeah. on the card, how was that? You know, when I first when I first got told I was supposed to fight on the Kelbrook show, there were like two and a half weeks before, and you know, from that day when Dom text me, I was just so excited, and you know, the week of the fight, all I could get out, I could, I just, I just couldn't get more point out of my head, you know, because I wanted to impress. But coming down to it, you know, I was supposed to fight third, but it didn't come through. But I had a long, long wait, but you know, it was well worth the wait because I had a big crowd, and you know, I did a four rounder again. Boxed the kid's head off. You know, he was a decent he was a decent opponent as well, but you know, with my talent and my skill, I don't think no one can beat me. Especially in the flyweight division. Was it everything that you wanted it to be tonight? You know what, to be honest, whatever I imagined in my head, that's what that's what I expected and that's what it was. But you know, I'd like to get out one fight before Kel because it was a full packed stadium, but you know, we live and learn and hopefully in the future when I've made it to the top, I'll be topping bills just like Kel Brook. Gone from Octagon Centre to Motor Point Arena. What, what's your third fight going to be? I think probably my third fight will be Las Vegas. You never know. Could be in September or May with the undercard. You never know. You never know what your future is. And what sort of opponent would you like next? Um, this kid gave you a good, good test, good learning fight. I've already had two decent, um, skillful fighters. So the third one hopefully will just be as good or even better. But you know, to be honest, the better fighters I fight, the better I'll be. There's no point having a bum in front of you for four rounds and you'll take him out within a round, you know, your fans want to see a full four round fight. Including Kel and yourself, there were another two lads from the Ingle Gym on the card, they yeah. all won. Did yeah. that build the momentum into your fight? You know, it was, obviously it was Lee Wood, he got a first round stoppage, Jordan won six rounds, you know, it was a masterclass from him. And Kel Brook obviously saw three in a row, so I couldn't let him down, so I had to win. I was last on the show and I had to win. And what would you want to say to your fans that have... You know, to my fans that bought a ticket, you know, I really appreciate you, you know, because, you know, you can't really come. I've been out, out, out since the last fight, four weeks, so, you know, it's hard as well buying tickets, but, you know, I'm really, I'm really happy that you come down and watch, man, you know, there's more to come. Thank you.